pressure course, what is this? This is the ox O X X. Or no, how, how do you do the X? Wait, 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 wait. Woo! Wait, wait, one more time. Did you? Did Are you we end? ready? Yeah. Okay. O. Woo! X X. All right, the ox coffee box. So how do you make coffee with this thing? Well, there's water reservoir back here. <laughs> I may or may not have not put water in there. Yeah. You take your K cup, you put it in here, close it, you hit the button, and it says heating. And once it's warmed up, you have selector size buttons, small, medium, and large. Here, I'll give them a sneak peek. <clears throat> All right, it's already ready already. Hit large because I'm a man. This thing's pretty awesome. And it's going to start brewing me a hot cup of coffee. And what you guys are going to do while my coffee is brewing in the ox box is you're going to check in and tell us where on planet Earth you are right now. How about that? And also keep in mind you don't have to just drink coffee with this. It boils just regular water. So if you're camping and you need boiled water, you need boiling water for your favorite whatever, you've got the the mountain home foods or the wise foods and you have to put 16 ounces of boiling water in it well hit the water spout put the boiling water in your food you're good to go I know it's crazy it's crazy did you already uh, put the cream in the bottom of the coffee cup? yes I did because I'm that kind of guy because you're that kind of guy alright very good very good so where are we on planet earth today are we in South Africa are we in Australia I want somebody from New Zealand to check in. Check in in New Zealand. How about Europe? Do they allow us in the uh, the socialist uh, enclaves of Europe? Probably not. Probably not. They probably block us in Europe. The, the word gun is probably banned in all of the European Union because they're just that all gay. Right. We, got, we got 187 viewers. Did you make it a large cup? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's still brewing. Cool. All right. Uh, well, what are we going to talk about today? If you guys are fans of Student of the Gun Radio, and shame on you if you're not, you know that a week ago Thursday we had my friend John Bates on the radio, and he talked about getting lost in the woods. And we came up with two kits. We have a compact kit, and we have a full-size trauma survival kit. Trauma slash survival kit. And what I did with this kit here is I decided that I was going to put enough stuff in it that you could deal with a traumatic injury and also a wilderness survival situation at the same time. Now we did the compact kit obviously because compact is smaller, it's easier to carry, and uh, it's less expensive. But if you want all of the good stuff, we've got it in here. All right, if, if you're fans, if you're familiar with our Pocket Lifesaver kits, uh, most of the stuff, or at least a good percentage of it, is going to be very familiar to you. So you start out, okay, this is what the kit looks like when you get it. I've got all the stuff laid out. Gauze. Gauze is important. Soaks wounds, wraps wounds, covers wounds. We put a big old monster size roll of gauze in there. Rats tourniquet. Uh, I, we're obviously, if you know by now, we're very, very impressed by the rats tourniquets. They started out in black. The, the enhanced pocket lifesavers that we do, there's a bright orange one to differentiate the two. Uh, we, we're putting a red one in here as long as the red ones stay available. Uh, it's a manufacturer thing, but for right now we're putting the red rats in the big kit. Chest decomp needle, I shouldn't have to tell you what that's for, but uh, you either know how to use it and what it's for or you don't. But there's a chest decomp needle, NPA, nasopharyngeal airway, right there. Two, in the emergency kits, we're putting not one, but two 18 Delta combat blood soakers. All right? And one pair of indigo nitrile non-latex gloves. That's the medical stuff. Well, also, I guess kind of the medical thing would be the tape. In the basic kits, we put the flesh-colored tape in there. Uh, and thanks to Zach the Shipping Ogre, he said, why don't we, since this is a survival, wilderness survival kit, why don't we use the orange? And I said, that's a great idea, Zach. You're a genius. So we decided that we would put the orange tape in the survival kit. So all the survival kits have orange tape. Oh, my coffee's done. 
Mm. That's going to be hot. All right, so what else? What goes in the survival side? You want a spoon? We've got the orange. We could spin the knife together. All right, you're an idiot. Woo. Yeah, actually. Greetings from Turkey. We got All right. From Turkey. What's up? The body of Christ in Texas. Corpus Christi. Ah, there we go. Much better. All right, continuing on. Survival items. Mylar space blanket. Twofold. A, number one, keeps you warm. And no joke, they keep you warm. And number two, they're shiny and reflective. Uh, so if some people are if they're trying to find you, whether they're in a helicopter or an airplane or whatever, and you're like, hey, there's a plane up there. Woo, take the blanket out, shake it around, move it, what have you. It's going to reflect the light. Mylar space blanket. Very lightweight, very compact. And no, I'm not going to unfold it here on the camera. Uh, trust me on that one. You're lost. There's, there's few things in the world worse than being lost and not knowing how to find your way back to where you need to be. Now, I'm hoping that when you were a little kid, you learned all about directions like north, south, east, and west. If you don't know about direction, this isn't going to help you. But if you do, what we have is we have a mini compass, pocket compass, uh, button compass, whatever you want to call it. It is an actual working liquid-filled compass. Now, when you use a liquid-filled compass, you want to make sure that it's as flat as possible and that you're away from metal. Now, if you're lost in the woods, being around metal shouldn't be a big deal. So, this will help you at very least go in a straight direction. Do west, do east, do north, whatever. You don't want to be lost in wandering around, veering off left and right, wandering in circles. Bad juju. So, a mini compass, that comes in there. This right here, although all you guys, uh, especially you military vets, you know, 550 cord. And uh, once again, we decided to go with the rescue orange theme. So you get five feet of 550 cord. If you can't fix something with five feet of 550 cord, with paracord and duct tape, it probably can't be fixed. So don't worry about it. We have SWAT fuel. The SWAT fuel 9mm plus P, a packet. There's two. There's two individual capsules in there. There's two capsules. And the reason I put that in there is because I was thinking about the kit. I was thinking about being lost and people were like, well, you should put, you know, you could come up with 10,000 ideas and end up with a kit that's five to 10 pounds. But let's face it, if the kit is large and heavy, you're not going to carry it. And then when you need it, it won't be on your body. And the whole point of the exercise is to have it on your body when you need it because it's an unexpected emergency, right? Well, I, I wanted to put something in there that would give you a little bit of, of a nutritional boost, a little bit of a, a physiological boost. And obviously you guys know if you pay attention that we, we uh, like SWAT fuel, we approve of SWAT fuel products. I use them, Jared uses them. And the SWAT fuel 9mm plus P, it's not just for stronger bodies, it's also for sharper minds. It gives you clarity of thought and it also helps you to not be hungry because unless you got lost with a Happy Meal or a Big Mac or an MRE on you, if you got lost with your backpack full of stuff, you're good to go. Just have a little camping adventure. But if you got lost and all you had was this or the compact kit in your pocket and that was it, you need a little bit of something because what happens when human beings get hungry? They get distracted, they get angry, and you can start making bad decisions. Bad decisions in a survival situation can kill you, and we don't want you to die. Now, how about water? If you got lost with water, great, rock on. You've got water, you're good to go. But what if you have to get water? Now, you should be smart enough to know that if you drink water out of puddles, streams, creeks, lakes, whatever, chances are that there could be bacteria in there that could make you sick. And you say, well, yeah, but if I don't drink water, I'm going to dehydrate and die. Okay, I got that. Number one, you're not going to dehydrate in the first 24 hours. You're going to be uncomfortable, and you're not going to be feeling good, but you're not going to dehydrate and die in 24 hours. However, if you start out drinking out of a puddle or a lake or stream or whatever, and you get sick, that bacteria gets in your body, it makes you sicker, then you get even more dehydrated, 
And now you're making really bad decisions because your body is fighting against all this, you know, bacteria and illness. That could be a bad thing. Way back when, in the olden days, when I was a United States Marine and we got the little green first aid kits, there were bottles of iodine tablets. Iodine tablets. So what we've done is we put four iodine tablets in their own little mini bag, and the way we factored it out when you this is a bag that obviously this is what this looks like before it's shrink wrapped and you're gonna we're gonna slit it and you're gonna cut it open but if you take this bag and you fill it two-thirds full of water this is this is a water resistant container or you can put water in this container put water two-thirds full in your bag put one iodine tablet per two-thirds full bag and you're like I'm never gonna remember the formula okay cool we put the instructions for the formula on this little card right here. It says, use the kit bag. Fill two-thirds with the cleanest water you can find. Add one iodine tab, shake or stir it, wait 30 minutes to drink. Two tabs per quart canteen. So if you happen to have a one-quart canteen like we did in the Marine Corps in the olden days, you put two tablets in there, shake them, stir them, wait, then drink it. Is it going to be tasty? Probably not, but is it going to be potable water that will keep you going and keep you from dying? Probably yes. So there's that. Now what have we covered so far? We covered the medical stuff. We've got the gauze, the tape, the tourniquet, all that good stuff, gloves. We've got 18 Delta Combat Blood Soakers, which we can use for medical purposes, but what else can we use them for? Fire. In a survival situation, you need warmth, shelter, Food, water, that kind of stuff. We can't really deal with the food, but we've got something to keep us going. We have a water option. We have a direction option. What about fire? How do we get a fire going? And I thought about this. I considered it for a long time. As a matter of fact, I brewed some coffee. Mm. I sipped some coffee, and I pondered that situation. People were like, oh, the Bic makes those little mini lighters. Buy those and put them in the kit. Okay, we could do that. Uh, lifeboat matches or strike anywhere matches or, or whatever. It's kind of hard to find strike anywhere matches now. Have you looked for them? Oh, uh, put some matches in there, what have you. And then you hardcore Bear Grylls fans are like, no, man, you need to find a, a fire starter stick, a, a magnesium stick. And we actually went with the magnesium sticks. Now, before so you have to have something to strike a magnesium stick on. You can't just bang this into wood. I came up with this mini razor knife. And you're like, dude, that's that's not cool, man. I've got a Benchmade, Spyderco, Cold Steel, CRKT, Zero Tolerance, whatever. Okay, great. If you have your G-Wiz, no kidding, folding knife on you, awesome. You are ahead of the game. This kit was designed so that if I fall off the back of a truck and I have nothing but my clothing in this kit, I can survive. And I thought actually about finding uh, a CRKT or maybe a, uh, an inexpensive spider core or something and putting that in the kit. But here's what I knew. I knew that you turkeys, that if I put a cool gee whiz knife in this kit, you wouldn't be able to help yourself and you would open the kit, break the seal and get in there and fart with the knife. This is not a knife that you're going to want, that you're going to get so excited about you're going to rip into the package. Now, it has obviously a sharp razor edge. And you say, but Paul, I don't want to ruin the cutting edge of my knife by scraping it on the magnesium fire starting stick. You know what? I don't want to do that either. But what you can do, and I'm going to show you real quick, is you can take the corner edge right here, the non-sharp corner, you can hold it at a 45 degree angle and scrape the magnesium stick and make sparks. Now, Word to the wise, if you've never made a fire by creating sparks, you might think, based on Hollywood and television, that you can just take sparks and flick the sparks onto sticks or, or onto grass or onto leaves or whatever, and they're going to spark right up. No, nothing could be farther from the truth. You have to have something that's called tinder, very, very flammable, fibrous material. Because what you're doing is 
you're creating sparks and you're putting them, you're flicking the sparks into the fibers of the material. It's catching the sparks and then catching on fire. So what can we use in our kit as tinder? Ta-da! The 18 Delta Combat Blood Soaker. Now you can't just scrape sparks onto this as is. What you need to do is you need to be a little bit creative and you need to take this thing and open it up so that it's like, and you might want to cut it a little bit, open this thing up so that it's like a giant cotton ball. You're going to fluff this turkey up. And I mean take the time to literally fluff it up. Don't be lazy. Uh, I've done this many, many times. Women, feminine hygiene products, whether they're maxi pads, um, panty shields and panty liners don't really work all that well. But a maxi pad, what you do is you take the maxi pad, you cut it open, and you fluff it, and you make this, this like big cottony thing, sparks in there, boom, it works fantastically well. We've got the, uh, the 18 Delta Combat Blood Soaker here, and we're going we're gonna to cotton ball this thing up. Hey, Jared, are we going to do uh, an actual starting a fire? Yes. Okay. I need you to go over to the, the, the bins. There's a magnesium fire starting stick that I've already been hacking on. This is a brand new one, and that's going to go into a kit that's going to go out to one of you turkeys, and I don't want to hack on it. But I've got one that I've already hacked on. I've already started multiple fires with, so we'll hack on that one. How's that sound for you? It's so, like, okay. yeah. Yeah. like I said, take the time to fluff this guy up because what are we trying to do? We're trying to catch and capture the sparks. Now, here is something that Jared probably didn't think about yet. We have three cameras running. I'm only taking two out. You're going to take two cameras with you? Yeah. Which ones? Um, the Periscope and the Facebook. Okay. The Periscope and the Facebook camera. All right. The other so, ones are, are um, casting couch camera. I just decided to use it today. <laughs> All right. I think that my uh, cotton ball is, is big enough. I think I, it's kind of an ugly looking cotton ball, but it, it should be enough to catch sparks. Do you want to go ahead and start a fire? I don't want to start a fire in my building. That would probably be bad. It would probably be a bad thing if I start a fire inside here, but we can start one outside. All right, let's go ahead and move outside. Here's your, here's your rod. Thanks. Magnesium fire starting stick and my little razor knife. All right, we're moving, guys. My tinder. I want to do this live so you guys can see it actually works. So you can see that it's not Hollywood trickery. Periscope's watching Facebook right now. Like I think you're a liar. I think that's just a bunch of a bunch of trickery there. All right. So I got my my giant cotton ball. Hold this at a 45 degree angle. There you go. How simple was that? Fire, fire, fire. It took all of what? Two, three seconds? Yeah. Now quickly, uh, we're at 20 minutes already, all so right. we'll go back in and we'll quickly go over the... Stomp that out. There you go. The benefits of that. Look, our dragon. We got a dragon up there. Okay. The... Uh, the angle. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Woo! It's so crazy. All How right. you freaks are enjoying this? I think we're good. All right. Uh, the angle that you hold the blade at actually is very important. And on the kit, we remind you to use the non-sharp edge and scrape at a 45-degree angle. Why do you want fire? Obviously, fire is good for physical warmth. Fire is good for light. Fire is good for signaling. Fire is good for your psychological health. Uh, if you can make a fire, would you rather spend a cold, dark night alone in the woods with no fire? Or would you rather spend the night alone in the woods with a fire going? Well, obviously, you'd rather have a fire going. If people are looking for you at night, you've got a big, bright fire. They say, hey, there's a fire. You can set multiple fires. So why not you can just, set one, two, three fires. Why not just stick waterproof matches in there? Why not? You want me to tell them why? Uh, psychologically. Because from a psychological, I'm going to, all right, I'm going to give you a, a, a super secret ninja trick right here. What I cannot, I can put all kinds of stuff in this bag. What I cannot put in this bag is I can't put in 
the mental survival instinct that you need. I can't put in a positive mental attitude. But if you can create your own fire, like we just did right there, and, I, and this is all the stuff, you take a piece of steel, you take a magnesium rod, you make a fire. That gives you a mental boost. Why? Because you are the man or the woman. Okay. I can't give that to you in a kit. I can't give you that positive mental energy in a kit. I can't pack it up and put it in here. But what I can do is I can give you the ability, I can give you the tools to succeed. You succeed, you feel good about yourself, you have a positive mental attitude. It is a difference. It does make a difference. All right, we're running out of time. All right, th this is the Wilderness Survival Kit. There's a uh, link if you point above. This, th the big one is the Trauma Survival Kit. Then we have a compact kit that still has some medical gear in it, but just not as much medical gear. Yeah. The oh, coffee box. We're giving, I already text. I we're giving one of these away yeah. every single month. We're going to give one of you lucky viewers, you're going to win one of these turkeys, and believe me, you want one. The, how, how can they do it? The last day of every month is when we will pick, or the last morning mindset of every month, the last Friday, is when we'll pick it. And the, the way we're going to pick it is you have to tag two people in the video. Like right now, tag two people that should be watching this. And also okay. share, it. When and share it. When we're done live, just share it on your page. Uh, and basically what I can do is I'll go back through at the end of every month and see, I'll pick a name from the shares, and if they shared every video and tag two people in every single video that month, and it doesn't have to be when we're doing it live. You can do it after we are done. As long as you take that video and share it and tag two people in the comments, then you're good to go. You're entered to win an Oxbox. Yep. Very cool. Very cool stuff. All right. Thank you. Go to studentofthegun.com, click the big orange button, get all the free material, follow us, listen to the radio show, watch the TV show, read the articles, and have a good weekend. Any questions about the kit? We got like two minutes. I think by now people are probably like, yeah, I what get it. What brand pants have calf pockets in them? Uh, what brand pants have calf pockets in them? Some of the Blackhawk pants do. Oh, the uh, the Woolrich Elite price for the kit. Click the link. Click the link. Fight the good fight. Anyway, any more pants? Uh, the Woolrich Elite do. The uh, some of the Blackhawk ones do. Some of the Blackhawk ones used to have cap pockets. They took them away, which was stupid on their part. But uh, some still do. Uh, I don't know about five elevens. You just got to shop around. All right, I guess we have no more questions. You pretty much covered everything. So, All right. Does the trauma kit include everything the enhanced kit has? Mm, yes and no. Explain. Well, the, uh, the, the, the enhanced kit has all the, the trauma stuff. The enhanced kit only has one of these, and the enhanced kit has two pairs of tactical black medical gloves. This one has one, and it has two soakers. And it has different color tape. I just saw another question, but it went away too fast. So there's that. So think of it. This is like the enhanced pocket lifesaver plus, plus survival gear. Mm. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. 26 minutes now. So, Woo! peace out.